line of stuff is moving through <laughs> right there. I mean, you, we've been watching over the last hour, yeah. Pete, uh, starting to boil up there in Connecticut, and now it's uh, affecting us here in Rhode Island. Exactly. I like stuff. I think that's the technical it definition. All. It does, really, and that's what it's been this morning. Some rough stuff, actually, for some. Let's check it out on live Pinpoint Doppler 12. And you'll notice this very defined line of thunderstorms with the red and yellow. All the lightning lined up, up and down. This produced some very loud lightning right here over studios in East Providence about 20 minutes ago. This continues to march to the east. Some very heavy rain associated with this. So if you're heading to work this morning, you may encounter some downpours and flooded out roadways. You can see Fall River, the red, showing some pretty heavy rain likely right now on 195. Also some scattered downpours further to the west. Now, as we work to the west, yes, we still have downpours, potentially some rumbles of thunder. It's not quite as heavy or as strong, so that is the good news. But it does take another few hours to completely clear the area of this today. Once we get behind that, we will get windy. In fact, some winds gusting between 40 and 50 starting this afternoon through tomorrow morning morning as a wind advisory goes into effect. Right now, looking from East Providence towards the capital city, the rain continues to fall. We have rain and wind here in Narragansett and kind of make out the wave action there in the background. So here's how we're expecting this to play out. By around 9 a.m., you can see the heaviest stuff is likely to our east. We still may be showering or sprinkling from Providence up into Boston, but for the most part, late morning into the afternoon is primarily rain-free. There will be the chance of some additional showers and storms later on during the afternoon, but it's not a complete washout. So the good news is for the Boston Marathon, some of the running time during the race may actually be rain-free. It's really before the race starts where the biggest soaking will be. Not obviously great news for people trying to set up and get prepared for that. 7 p.m still some scattered showers and storms possible and then we dry things out overnight into early Tuesday morning. 59 is your temperature in Smithfield, 66 in Providence. We're at 63 in Richmond, 59 Newport, 60 is your temper temperature right now in Westerly and the breezes have been strong. 23 miles an hour right now from the southwest in Providence, 23 Newport, 15 in Westerly. So even though the wind advisory hasn't started yet, we're still getting some strong wind gusts right now out ahead of that advisory. In fact, a recent gust in Providence, 44 miles an hour up to 48 in Smithfield. 39 for a recent wind gust in uh, Newport. Some of those winds may have been responsible for the uh, power flicker that we saw here a little bit earlier at our studios. Notice the showers continue to march to the east, so it doesn't take very long. You can kind of see the light at the end of the tunnel, but again, once this primary band pulls through, this is the area, this next disturbance that will bring in those scattered showers this afternoon. Behind that, it does start to dry out. So at noontime, likely partly sunny, warm, Temperatures in the mid to upper 60s, 63 by around 3 p.m. as those winds start to ramp up with a chance of some scattered showers. So temperature wise this afternoon, you know, not bad. Maybe if you're heading up to uh, spectate the Boston Marathon, temperatures mid 60s to around 70. This may be a little bit too warm for the runners. I know ideally temperatures maybe you want a little cooler than that, but we'll take this over what we had last year, right? And then into this afternoon and this evening, temperatures start to cool down in the 50s. Eventually, some areas going to the upper 30s overnight through tomorrow morning. Here's a breakdown of your Boston Marathon forecast. Next few hours, still the chance of some showers. New time, 66 mild and breezy, 3 p.m. Chance of an isolated shower or storm. And our seven day forecast shows it dries out for Tuesday and Wednesday, 60, mostly sunny skies after a cool start tomorrow morning in the upper 30s, uh, 59 for Wednesday afternoon with mostly sunny skies. Temperatures in the 50s and then mid 60s by the end of the week into the weekend as we increase the threat of some more rain showers. Of course, you can get more updates online and Tony is in tonight with another update over on WPRI. You can also read more details on our Weather Now section of our Weather Blog.